Hello, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls, and we are DIY YouTubers. Yes, and welcome to the Drill Down. Sometimes the simplest DIY project can get really complicated once power tools get thrown into the mix, but on this series, we are set out to help you and ourselves make the whole thing a lot easier. Yeah, and on this episode, we are tackling a super simple DIY picture frame. So this project requires us to use a drill and a miter saw. This tool makes sure that we can do quick and accurate cross cuts on our selected angle. So this makes sure that the 45 degree angles we need to use for our picture frame fit together seamlessly. So our artwork is 12 inches by 15 inches and we do want a half inch overlap for our frame. So to figure out our picture frame lengths, which we're going to cut from one and a half inch material, which is also known as one inch by three quarters inch if you go to the hardware store, we're going to add two inches to the height and the width of our photo. This will give us the dimensions of the outside of our frame. So when you do the math, these dimensions should end up to be about 14 by 17 inches. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw those measurements out on our piece of wood. We're gonna drop it into the miter block and then hold it in place with these posts and then we can select the 45 degree angle and get cutting. Get it out of there. Looks good. Looks good. So let's cut the other angle on this side, Yep. which I don't really need to measure anything. I just need to make sure that it goes to the end. So now that we have this piece, why measure twice? We're just going to lay it on this guy since we already have our angle that's actually the same. Maybe it's your turn, Becky. <laughs> Here, I'm getting a little tired. Yeah. Okay. Drew? I think so. But bam. Same thing. Now we shorter gotta do pieces. our shorter pieces, correct. So this guy is gonna be 14 inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah? From the long side. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. Cool. Perfect. Right. So now we have all four pieces. So now let's give the edges a light sand. So our next step is to lay these all out in a line and then we're gonna tape them. Yes, so we're laying them out end to end, alternating lengths. So long piece, short piece, long piece, short piece. And then we're gonna take some painter's tape and we're just gonna tape these ends super close together. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure they're very tight, no gaps showing. Lovely. All right, cool. And now we can take some wood glue and put a little strip of glue in between each of the corners here and then fold it all together. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 45 degree angle cut is perfect. Okay, we're just gonna lay this guy flat so it dries nice and even and leave it to dry. So now we're gonna be adding corner braces on the back corners just to make sure that everything stays nice and tight and in place. So we can just center these somewhere in the back corners and we're gonna be marking where we want our screws to go. But first we're gonna be drilling pilot holes. So why do you need a pilot hole? Well, this just is a pre-drill hole to make sure that when you put your screws in, it doesn't split the wood. Yes, and make sure that our pilot hole obviously is smaller than the screws we're gonna be putting in. And don't go all the way through your wood. And the screws we're gonna be using are quarter inch screws in number six. So the thing to when you're getting your screws, just make sure they're not longer than your wood so they don't come out the other side. <laughs> and then we just pre-drilled two tiny little holes so our nails have somewhere to go in perfectly. It's hammer so time. And at this point, you totally have the option to use a wood filler to fill in any little gaps if you have them. We're gonna skip this step, but it's totally something you could do at home if you want to. All right, let's do this. First roll of paint is always so, so satisfying. satisfying. I know. Oh my goodness, it's lovely. So we got some tape, and now we're gonna put our print in the back and tape it in place. All right. Should we go hang it? Let's go hang this guy. Excited. Looks good. Not bad. That's cute. I like it. So now you guys know how to make your own picture frame. You don't have to go shopping for one for all of your favorite prints. And, and don't forget to check us out, The Story Girls, at youtube.com slash The Story Girls for more awesome DIY projects. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.